Cheers. Hi, I'm Shez. I'm Gav. And this is our Beneteau Oceanus 430. We made our dream a reality. Welcome aboard to Astrid the Wombat. everybody good morning friends we are very excited today <laughs> we, we got the tickets we got the tickets <laughs> we, got we, the ticks. we are on our way to the <laughs> sanctuary cove international oh, boat international show. largest boat show in sanctuary cove i think it's the biggest <laughs> one in australia I think this I is think the, biggest the biggest one, one in Southern Hemisphere. In Southern Hemisphere, goodness. Yeah, but it's definitely the biggest one in Sanctuary Cove. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are quite excited. <clears throat> we didn't get to go last year because we were busy diving with sharks in Fiji. Um, so that insert, took precedence. Insert diving shark. Oh shark. yeah, we'll insert some pictures of the shark <laughs> diving. Because it's epic. We're so proud of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, only 50 bull sharks. Everything's okay here. So we're very excited about today. We are a little sad though, aren't we? No. Oh, we are a little sad. About what? Our friends couldn't come. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not sad. <laughs> so Dave and Those Connie... has got COVID. <laughs> Dave and Connie are positive for COVID. And so they couldn't come. We uh, have their tickets. We tried to give them away on Facebook. <laughs> and uh, none of you guys wanted them. So you're missing out on an epic day with us. I mean, I'm unsure why. <laughs> Everybody wasn't like mobbing us to get those tickets. Maybe they've already got their tickets. Maybe. Because they knew we were going. Quite possibly. <laughs> but we're very excited because uh, um, the Delos guys are going to be there this afternoon. So we're really hoping that uh, we can get a photo with them. <clears throat> so it'll be like when Astrid the Wombat meets Delos. Brian! Brian! I feel, I feel like I like um, Papa Delos more than I like Delos. Yeah, well, Papa Delos follows us on Instagram, so that's pretty exciting. But I think he just follows everybody. Well, that's his brief, just like everybody. Well, he follows us, and I'm, I'm yeah. great. He did have a chit chat that. with us, though, didn't he? He did. He had a little chat with us. So yeah, we're hoping to catch up with those guys. Where we live. Um, just so you know, with the Delos thing, just to go back, they literally inspired us to go sailing. Yeah. No one else, really. So they, um, just the way they do it is. The way that they uh, love to have a drink and party. Yeah. The way that the um, safety first, all that sort of stuff. Everything about them made us think, oh, we could do that. Yeah. And as it turns out, we can't really, but we're trying. <laughs> so to meet them today is like, 
would be just amazing. Well, they're not heroes, are they? They're just people, but they didn't inspire us. Yeah, I'd love to meet them. Um, and where they're building their boat is directly across from where our marina is in Brisbane. So Stradbroke Island is right across from us. Um, but anyway, we are on the road. It's a shitty day. Look at this. Rainy, rainy. Rainy, rainy. Might keep the crowds away. I'm thinking I might get a um, a jacket at the boat show. Might be my purchase. I think there's a jacket, an air conditioner, a dive compressor. <laughs> this could be a very expensive day. How much money have you got on today? Your credit card? <laughs> yeah. I just cleared my credit card, so Beautiful. it's ready to go, babe. Yeah, we are good to go. Up. So uh, yeah, we um, this could be quite expensive for us, but we're very excited. We're going to tour some of the boats, and um, I've got a whole lot of batteries with me, so we should be able to get a heap of footage today, and um, it. Hopefully we'll feel like you're there with us when you watch this episode. So anyway, we're on our way to get coffees at the moment and um, or teas and then yeah, we'll catch you all later. We'll film that in a minute. In a minute. Getting the coffee. Yeah. Because yeah. that's important. <laughs> Coffeeed up, aren't we, babe? What else did you get? Oh, well, we went to see the Sithir freaking butcher. The oh, Paulie might watch this. Sorry, Paulie, for the bad accent. Accent. The Sithir freaking butcher is right beside the coffee shop. Yeah, so. and be, he's been there for like a hundred years, and he makes the uh, he does make beef jerky, but he makes all that South African beef jerky as well. What do you call that stuff? South African beef jerky. No, it's called something. Anyway. Oh yeah, it has got a different name. Yeah. We'll think of it as soon as we stop filming, probably. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. it's all the go, because it tastes yummy. So we've got tea and coffee, we've got the jerky. Yeah, it's not a jerky though, it's the sausage. Yeah, the Look. stuff. We've got the stuff. It's dried sausage, and it's just freaking delicious. It's probably delicious. the most yummiest thing you've ever had in your life. Biltong. Biltong. It's the Biltong, Thank got there God eventually. We didn't turn the button off. Yeah. So we're all geared up. Now we just have to hit the uh, highway in the rain, which is always shit. And no, we're, um, right. we're in a highlight. It doesn't mean we can drive over other cars. There's the Hope Island turn off. <laughs> <laughs> Means nothing if you don't know what Hope Island is. But anyway, that's where we're parking to get into the boat show. So the rain has stopped. I'm pretty excited about that. Or well, maybe it's a bit drizzly, but anyway, it's better than it was before. So, oh, look, there's a Sanctuary Cove sign. Boop, boop. We could walk from there. We, we could, could park walk. down the street. We could park down the street and walk, but we won't. I'm off to the swimming. <laughs> Going to the school sports carnival boat? Yeah, got my swimmers, got my towel. The busing now. Okay, how comfortable are you on the bus? Not very. <laughs> Here we go, yo. Sorry. Boat show on it. I think I'm looking apart. I've got my blue sunnies that aren't re aren't really um, fancy, but you know, I think I'm gonna cut over here. I'm going. Look at the bar crusher. Whoa, bar crusher. Tell us something about the bar crusher. <laughs> We are here at the Gold Coast International Boat Show. He looks a tidy, doesn't he? Oh, there's all things down there. Easy tender lift. Hello. Let's go and talk to these guys. <laughs> Oh, 
Because it meets that 3,000 watt overhead. And you can put two whips on it. And what's better, uh, an hour to fill a tank? Two whips. Better than an hour? Yeah, uh, an hour. But if you put two whips on it, a bit longer. Yeah. Two hours. Well, yeah. Two hours. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, well, it is what it is, right? You still, it, and it's physics. It doesn't matter what brand you buy. You're you're yeah. governed by the liters per minute that it produces. Yeah. We were all about set and forget, or at least for an hour. You know. So. Yeah. Well, that one's got the auto stop on it. Yeah. Um. This is really. That one's. Fill out the thing, babe. You can stand on this and just turn um... Yeah. <laughs> Don't want That's your tender. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just bought a new one of those, too. Oh, did you? Gav was literally like the proverbial kid in the candy store. So we walk into the pavilion and he's located um, bow thrusters which we don't currently have on the boat. Yes, they would be great, but not actually on the list. Uh, and then he moved across to the air conditioners. So air conditioning is definitely on our list for the boat. So this was something that we really wanted to have a look at while we're at the boat show. And there were multiple vendors with air conditioning uh, there that we wanted to sort of compare the, the units. Where we are, it's so hot. So moving on to the boat and trying to work on the boat uh, is really uncomfortable without air conditioning and particularly when we get summer storms. We've just bought the toilets, but Gav still got his head in the toilet, clearly. Uh, but again, at the Dometic stand here, they had a lot of options for air conditioning. And we had a really long chat uh, with the fellow there around how they install these air conditioners, where we would be able to find space on the boat and the best place for it, and how to duct it through our boat. We're not convinced that this is the answer for us at the moment, and we'll probably do an episode on this air conditioning that'll be exciting won't it uh, but we do have some other options in terms of air conditioners that we can go to that will not require the plumbing in as such so I think that will be something well worth looking at uh, but for now we were happy to talk about air conditioners wander around and have a look you can see just how large this boat show is so anyone that's you know, in Brisbane that has access to this boat show next year, we couldn't recommend it highly enough. This is just like one pavilion um, that we went to at the start of the boat show, but there was just so much to see here. Pretty excited to stop in at Yanmar, considering we have a new 54 horsepower Yanmar engine in our boat. And the guy there was so lovely, he actually chased after us when we left and um, gave us a couple of Yanmar hats, which was really, really cool and so lovely. Yes. Thanks, Yanma. Thanks, Yanma. Thanks for being the power to our boat. And now and for the caps. The what caps. a cool guy. Very cool. Yeah, what Very a nice cool guy. Thank you. Chick singing on a bike, everyone. Oh, it had me blue. Oh, it
ultra low emissions. Is that what you're Just after? so you know. <laughs> I'm after a woman that has ultra low emissions. <laughs> but this has got our name all over it. So good. So we'll put this on the back of a high field. Yeah. Or, just as an alternative, let me just scoot past you here. Okay. I was thinking about this. I think that's okay. I think that's sensible. On the back of our 2.7 metre rib. What about a V6? Something like that. Big fan. Damn it, Mav, you've gone below the line. <laughs> you're on below the hard deck <laughs> for this operation. Clearly, I need a bit of work on my Top Gun quotes. That was abysmal, but Gav has it all covered there. He can quote the whole movie, something to aspire to. Look at the amount of boats that we're here to look at. So you could go on and off any of these boats. You could spend the whole day literally just down walking around the marina stepping on and off the boats and having a look at all the different designs. I particularly liked the seats on this boat. The timber work was just beautiful. So well finished. Uh, admiring my Wombat Crew t-shirt there as well. Uh, and you can see coming up ahead here on the right is a Genoa 60. So Dave Graham, Dave and Connie that helped us to bring our boat back from Townsville. Uh, Dave's in the market and loves the Genoes. We wish we could have picked this one up for you, Dave. Just didn't quite fit in the backpack, otherwise we would have grabbed it. 60-foot Genoe, absolutely beautiful boat. Look at that. So, so lovely. Okay, so we're in the, what is it? It's a Benetton. So Benetton, I think it's a 46. Okay. And it is freaking stunning. Oceanus. Have a look at those rear rooms. I like the uh, galley. I like that there's only one head. I don't know. Is this a. It seems smaller than ours. It's not, it's bigger. It's got so one head. The, so it's only got one bathroom. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Better use of space, right? Yeah. Yeah, three feet bigger. Easy. I feel like ours is bigger. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I'm just telling you, it's not. <laughs> this is stunning. I feel like it might have lost its soul. Drop down blinds. Lost its what? Its soul. I don't think it has. I don't think it has. I don't see any old no, worldly it's love. Big here everywhere. No. No in mass filling though, guys. Oh, it's padded. It's okay. <laughs> do you think we need some Benito cushions? Maybe yep. Just take those. I think they're for free. This is stunning. Yeah, it's a nice beautiful. bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. It says please do not climb on the beds, but it looks like people have been climbing on the beds. This could be this big. We just need to change yeah. it. Yeah. Just take that cupboard out. This is big. Oh, this would be more solid. Oh, I don't like all the pale, it's very pale oh, in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's all gonna be. Stunning. Freaking stunning. Tori and Rosie, I think this is uh, gonna be the boat for you. So, mate, we just worked out a deal on this one. It's a boat show special for 160. So, if you want us to put your name down, 
we're pretty happy to. We can put it on the credit card. So DG, yeah. What do you reckon, mate? It's got those shitty drop down swim platforms that nobody likes, so <laughs> probably wouldn't want that. It's got clean windows, Dave, so you'd probably like it. Nothing to clean for himself, is it? I've been intrigued to work out what the price is. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about it as a tender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get in quickly. Whoa! Really push you. Just smash the one, but. So Sharon just bought this new anchor for our boat. So I can polish it. Yeah. It's yeah. a good idea. I actually need to start polishing our anchor. I yeah. never thought of it before. Here's the fender shop. Run through them. Go. Run through them quick. <laughs> yeah, we need the step one. Have they got it? No. Yeah. Field bay. Yeah, on a high field bay. Which one do you want? We'll just grab one. I think a center console would be cool. And get the black one. Yeah. Something like that on the back of the wombat would be good. Yeah. Hang on a sec. Nah. Nah. No good? Try this one. Nah. Nah, you won't. Nah, no right. good. So the answer to your question is yes. 
Have you had a good day so far? Yes. What's been your favourite part? I mean, oh, I learned a fair bit about the compressors that we need. Mm -hmm. So that's been pretty good. And um, I'm pretty happy with lunch when it comes. I'm pretty happy with sitting down. We've done a lot of walking. Mm. Yeah, we've got to see some mates as well. So a few actual mates and a few clients and a few dealers that we know. Which is where been working out for us. What's been your favourite part of the day? This upper is orangey. It's very orangey. My favourite part of the day has been, I don't know, all of it actually. It's my first big boat show, so I'm pretty excited. Um, it was pretty cool to walk on the newer Beneteau and compare to Astrid. That was really good. Um, I've enjoyed seeing the really shiny stainless steel stuff. <laughs> and I feel like I need to polish our anchor now, but I keep pointing out to Gav all the really shiny stainless steel. That's been a really big part. We've got a lot of hats. Been given a lot of hats. And um, my favorite part is gonna be meeting the Delos guys and that's after lunch. So I'm sort of chomping at the bit a bit to get there. And I'm just looking now and our battery is in the amber color range. So I'm about to change the battery while we've got a table and stuff to do it so that we have plenty of footage of that. So, but everything, everything's been great. It's like being immersed in everything boating today it makes me very excited. What about the collapsible? Fenders. Oh yeah, I'm not so sure about the collapsible fenders yet. I, I just feel like they don't actually feel soft for the boat. They reckon that they don't make a rubbing noise. I'm sure that they look like they would. Anyway, I, I'm not convinced. I'll do a bit of reading. Because we can just deflate a fender. Yeah, we can just deflate a fender. I know. I don't get the... yeah. But what I did enjoy was giving the sailing Astrid the Wombat email address out everywhere. <laughs> That's made me happy. We're about to meet the Delos guys and we're very excited. Here we go. Oh, there's a lineup. Watching Delos inspired us to make our dream of buying a boat and sailing around the world a reality. They're such genuine, down to earth people, and to meet them absolutely made our day. Thanks so much, guys. Keep doing what you do. We love your videos and hope to see you again soon. Wow, 2024 International wow. Boat Show, done, awesome. tick. We had a very good day, didn't we babe? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Good job, Sanctuary Cove Boat Show people. Yeah, we had well a fantastic organized. day. And we met the Delos guys. Yeah, Yamaha were doing some good stuff for charity, weren't they? Yeah, Yamaha yeah. were doing Five dollar sharks, like blow up sharks. blow up sharks, and it was going to Variety Club. Yeah, um, which There's was a lot really of kids cool. stuff, kids charity. Yeah, fantastic. Um, there was a lot of stuff like that actually there, which was really good to yep. see. Had a nice lunch, didn't we? We had a lovely lunch. We had a sit down. We had an aperol spritz. Mm. Yummy, yummy. You thought it tasted like shit. Yeah, I won't be having that again. No. No offense to the aperol spritz people, but you drink shit. Yeah. Yep. So that had a beer, because you know, testosterone and stuff. I just ordered a beer to start with, and when they brought the drinks over, they said, oh, the Aperol Spritz for you, and I said, no, no, not for, for me. For that young lady over there. It's for him. <laughs> it's for this lady right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's his yeah. Aperol Spritz. But so, highlight of the day? For me, it was meeting Del the Brian and Kaza uh, and Sierra. Talking about Brady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely was meeting them. Super nice people, very down to earth. Mm. Um, yeah, really nice. So um, hopefully we'll be catching up with them. Maybe. Maybe. So the thing um, about those guys is if you don't know, and we haven't talked about it before, I don't know if we talked about it before. I don't know. So we started watching YouTube during COVID. Was it, it wasn't really a thing on our radar to watch. Mm. We were more into Hogan's Heroes and MASH reruns, weren't we? <laughs> But anyway, so we found YouTube, we're watching YouTube, and then um, we were watching these sailing videos because we thought these guys are so funny, and they're on the grog all the time, having a good time, and um, and the sailing's good too, right? So yeah. we, we thought that was cool, and then we said, oh, I reckon we could do that. We oh. could do that. We just need to get all our ducks in a row. 
I think we, we already yeah. had wanted to do it, but then watching the videos and seeing people actually doing it yeah. was the thing that sort of drove us. So to then meet them today was, that was very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so good day, big day. It's like nearly four o'clock. So we went pretty much all day. Um, and yeah, we're gonna, we'll put all this together and hopefully get a sense of what it's like to be at the boat show. Do you got anything else to add? No. One uh, for tea. Oh, I don't know. That's us, over yeah. and out. We're gonna get a steak or what? I think steak, maybe, yeah. yeah.